Hello Capricorn, welcome to your February new moon love reading. So this new moon is February 1st, so this reading is covering February 1st through February 4th. And new moons are always aligned with the zodiac sign that they're in. So we are in Aquarius season, so this new moon is in Aquarius. New moons are all about seed sowing, planting, what's to come. You can see the new moon here. It's empty. It's all about what's fulfilling it, what's coming up. And then Aquarius energy is associated with technology. It's kind of oddball energy, very unique. So what we have here is a unique love energy. And this person definitely, whoever comes out in this reading, could DM you Capricorn since Aquarius energy is associated with technology. Let's dive in though and see who is coming out for this new moon in Aquarius for Capricorn. King of Wands energy, Leo energy, all right. King of Wands, who else is coming out? Okay, for Capricorn with the new moon in Aquarius. Three of Swords, oh my gosh. Three of Swords energy, Libra energy. Let's get more. New moon in Aquarius for Capricorn. Who is coming out in love for Capricorn with this new moon? New moon love reading for Capricorn. Death, okay, Scorpio energy. So King of Wands, this is the energy of someone that's in their sovereign power. The King of Wands is very powerful, almighty. He doesn't let anyone tell him what's up. He is the one who dictates his reality. So this is someone that's really powerful, very attractive energy. But then we have the Three of Swords coming out. So this is the energy about heartbreak, loss, like a gut-wrenching loss. And then we have death which kind of coincides actually. But death is this energy about a huge transition, right? Besides birth, it's probably the biggest transition we do in this life. So there's something about a huge transition, a huge metamorphosis coming after a heartbreak. You know what I'm hearing? You took the King of Wands off his throne. This could be Aries, Sag, or Leo energy, usually typically associated with Leo. But Capricorn, you took the King of Wands off his throne. And I feel like this person was heartbroken, but now they're trying to transition that energy, transmute it in some way. All right, Capricorn, let's get more. What's coming out for Capricorn with this new moon in Aquarius? What does Cap need to know? Take it. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. So this is someone that I feel like got their heart broken by you. Or maybe there was just heartbreak in general in this connection. But this person wants to reverse this because they're not over you. More for Capricorn. Oh my God. Codependency just came flying out. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So maybe it's not even like a healthy connection that this person has to you. This person seems very hung up on you, Capricorn. Very strong. Strung up and hung up. All right, we're going to get some more for Capricorn. Tell us what's going on with this new moon energy in Aquarius. What's coming in for Capricorn with the new moon energy? I actually just heard shuffle once, cut three times. All right. All right, spirits. Tell me what's going on for Capricorn with this new moon in Aquarius energy. What's coming on? What's coming in? So we have this person that I think you broke up with. Very heartbroken energy. Tell us more about what we need to know, Spirit. Take it. This one keeps coming out for people. 36, Sacred Serpent Spirit, DNA Activation. So serpent energy is universal energy. DNA Activation, this literally is life-giving energy. It's funny because we have the Three of Swords and Death, but I feel like you actually gave this person life. And maybe that's what it is. Without you, they feel like death. They feel like heartbreak energy and they want to transmute that. I feel like you really shook someone's world up. You came in and rocked their world cap. Take the one on the top. 23, sea goddess of self-mastery, embodiment. Yeah, you came in and fucked shit up and left cap. And this person was shook, man. I feel like this is the energy. Even with 23, it makes me think of next year. It's like you are on this vibe of self-mastery. By this time next year, you are going to be like, woo, off the charts, like for real. And I feel like this person actually knows it. I feel like you're embodying 
self-love, self-mastery, divine feminine, everything that could possibly attract this person in is what you're embodying. This is more than a glow up. This is like, I don't know, like a life glow up, an ascension glow up, a high vibrational glow up. Take the first two. I'm only taking one for everybody, but they told me to take two for you guys, Cap. Move beyond intention to belief. So again, this is trying to transmute energy. Also, there's a five here. I'm hearing May. This could just be the energy coming out energetically, but in terms of physical action, this might come into fruition during May. This could also be the fifth. Maybe it's the fifth of February. Fall in love with your own story. So there's something in here about independence, king of wands energy, self-mastery, fall in love with your own story, codependency even. I feel like the pro this is what it is. You're very independent and this person didn't realize how codependent they were on you until you left. Because they're looking at you as their true love now. But you're out here on your goddess energy, self-mastery energy cap. I feel like this person sees you as like, it's like a glow up times a thousand. All right, let's get more for Kev. Two more before we go into the charms. Just heard shuffle twice, cut thrice. All right, let's get more for Cap and what they need to know. Because this person, whoever this energy is, they're in love with you, but I feel like it's actually coming from a place of the fact that you're so in love with yourself. Everyone loves someone who loves themselves gather yeah abundance energy you're harvesting you're working on your thriving energy you're working on getting more i feel like this person is just not there or at least they thought i almost feel like they thought they were there until you left and they were like oh shit, what do i have now because gather what's the opposite of having the gather it's nothing right i mean i guess you could look at it as hunter which also king of wands coming in maybe you're the gatherer they're the hunter but i also feel like it's like they lost you like without the gatherer it's like what do you have okay uh, spirit is talking to you guys cat we have river woman so this is about being in flow right being in tune being there with source intentional energy this person definitely looks at you as a goddess Abundance. I'm not surprised that's coming out. I'm going to put that near gatherer. This person looks at you as fully abundant in your bag, thriving. I mean, you couldn't be doing better. Fall in love with your own story. But I feel like as soon as you left, they were like, oh shit, I don't like, what do I have? Cap, this person is not well after you left. Let's get some more for Cap and what's going on with this person with the new moon energy. Charms. Okay. So on death, we have the cat pouncing out. I always look at cats as like pouncing. Also, this white energy is purification energy, purifying. I feel like this person wants to clear the air from three of swords, heartbreak energy to death, transition, transmuting. They're trying to like pounce into your reality, but also clear and cleanse the energy. So then we have, I love this guy. So this is... Um, the little balloon animal fun guy. I love this charm so much. It reminds me of childhood, pure energy. There's a lot of pure energy in here. It kind of came out near sacred serpent spirit and king of wands. So this is about life giving energy. Even our DNA kind of makes me think of kids. King of wands is a very like powerful energy. I feel like this person has very powerful energy, but what you have is even more powerful because it's not even like exerting energy, it's divine feminine. It's being in flow, it's being this river woman in tune, self-mastery. It's like, you don't even have to put anything out there, Cap. You just have it in you. And I think that's what's really attracting this person, this light flow, you know, I do what I want energy. Let's get more for Cap and this person during the new moon in Aquarius through the Astrodice. So we have Neptune energy. Neptune rules Pisces, so they end the zodiac, ethereal, otherworldly energy. And then we have Scorpio, death and rebirth. Death is Scorpio energy. So there is something about this person thinking, otherworldly, daydreaming, maybe even literally dreaming 
about a death and a rebirth with you, switching the energy, changing, purifying. In the fourth house, Cancer, ruled by the mother energy. So mother energy is an open portal. This is divine feminine. This person's in love with your divine feminine energy. This is true love, Cap. This is someone that really daydreams about you, thinks about starting something new. I feel like this person feels lost without you. And so they want to come back in, but it's like from a different angle this time. They're really, really... I feel like this person didn't realize how like how amazing you are, how how worthy you are, how attractive you are until you weren't there anymore. So I hope this resonated, Sag. Thank you so much for watching this reading, and I will catch you in another moon phase reading. Moon phase reading, if I could say that right, um, in just a couple days. Talk to you later.